Hi, welcome to Villages 365. I'm Debbie. And I'm Jan. And today we would like to bring you some reasons that you may not want to move to the Villages. So, first thing that you may want to think about is the crowds during the wintertime. The seasonal. The seasonal time. Yeah, this is any time pretty much from January through April, and it does taper off, but that is the high season here. So if you don't like being in a crowded area, you may want to avoid the villages, well, altogether, or <laughs> yeah. specifically during that time frame. Well, and I find that, that people are coming down earlier and earlier. It used to be like January, February, March. Yeah. And now I think that, because a lot of people own two homes, mm -hmm. and if it gets cold where they are, then it's like, okay, we're down. going to Florida. So yep. it, November, you just can start seeing it a little in November, a little more in December, and then January's boom. Yeah, so, yeah, that's when it really gets big. So, yep. but, so that might be one reason. Um, if you don't like the heat, this may not be the place for you. Yeah, that's the only drawback because, you know, the good weather is the good weather. But if you don't like heat and humidity or, you know, it's... It gets hot in the summer. And because we're not on the coast, right, we're in the center of the, mm -hmm. the state, we don't get that ocean breeze. No. You know, I mean, it's been windy here this year. Believe me, this spring has been really windy. But, you know, the ocean people get a lot of, the coastal people get a lot of wind and a lot of breeze. Yeah. So even yeah. though it may be humid, they don't realize it because, or yeah, feel it they, as much. Yeah, the wind, yeah. We have yeah. a little bit more stifling humidity. So for sure, and, the heat. In the days that it doesn't, it's not windy here, it's kind of um, stifling. It is. You know, because we, we complain when we're golfing that it, oh, it's so windy. But then the days that there's no wind, we're like, oh my gosh, a, ni a breeze would be nice right yeah, now. Yeah, we just sit there and bake. Yes, pretty <laughs> Like much. little lobsters. So that might be another reason. So if you don't like alcohol or that offends you that people drink. Drink too much. This may not be the place for you. No, because everything is around cocktails. It, not everything, I shouldn't say that. But a, a lot of restaurants have uh, happy hour and some have happy day. I mean, it's all day long. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's always come over for a cocktail. I mean, if you have a very active um, social life. neighborhood yeah. also that they will meet at somebody's driveway one day. And so alcohol is unfortunately part of the socialization it, for a yes, lot of thank people. You. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, and I, I get it when you were working that you, you just, we just didn't have drinks during the week because we had to go to work. And and I do know that we drink more alcohol yeah. moving down here than we did, you know, yep. at any other house we lived in just because it's the one of the social things. But yeah. there's, you know, it's like anything else. You just have to watch how many you have. Well, and you can decide if you don't want to drink, you don't have to drink, but no. it is it is just, you'll find people drinking on the square, you find people drinking at the restaurants. There is on the golf course. a lot of alcohol yeah. being socially yeah. consumed. Yeah. And some people are just not alcohol. They just don't like it. So. Yep. Yep. So another thing um, that may be a reason not to move to the villages is if you don't like people spreading rumors about the town that you live in. So... We all get defensive because we hear all these negative rumors. And so villagers right away, we put up a wall and we're like, yeah. that's not true. That's not true. Um, and sometimes it does get um, hard to hear because, we, you know, you'll get on a plane. You'll be sit down next to a stranger. Oh, where are you from? You see the villages. Oh, they all have STDs there. Yeah. It's like, really? <laughs> You're always defending, you know, yep. your, your home or your town. And, yeah, I've never yeah. lived in somewhere that I don't know how it's it such a reputation. Yeah. It's just, yeah, and it, you do get defensive because that's where you live and um, that's... And because it's not true and because it's a nice place to be. Right. So it's kind and of they, frustrating. They, and they haven't been there. So yeah, if it, you, you can talk about some somewhere you haven't been and you're wrong. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another reason to not move to the villages is um, obviously we have a bit of an elder community. Um, most people here are 55 and up. Um, and so we have some people on the and up side. Um, and so like for us personally, sorry, um, we have neighbors that are, um, a little bit older. They struggle a little bit. They are with walkers, whatever. And so we help them with their newspapers. We help them take their garbage down. We help them, um, 
you know, they'll, they'll call us, can you move this chair for me? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So light bulb. yeah. So if you're, um, in fact, one time, one of my neighbors had a problem. She had a little episode with a potential fire hazard. Anyway, it was a scary story. But when I talked to the fire department, I called the fire department and I, we were taking care of it for her. And the fireman said, well, that's what happens when you're the youngest one on the block. You got to take care of everything. <laughs> yeah, and that's true. It, yeah, we it used to be the them. youngest and yeah, Mark has had to go help people do things and change a light bulb one time. And cause this, this man was on this rickety old stool and Mark said, just call me. I will yeah. come over and he, don't get on the stool. And now we're not the uh, youngest anymore. So someday somebody will have to take care of us. We'll have to make sure they lose our number by then. Yeah, that's why we hang around with Debbie. <laughs> but it, it, so it is, but that is such an upside of the villages is that people are so kind here yes. and they do just want to help. But um, very neighborly. Very neighborly. So if, um, but if you're not one of the people that wants to get pulled into that, I guess either make sure you close your garage door as soon as you pull in, never get to know your neighbors, <laughs> or this might not the be the place for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Or it might not be the place for you. So, um, if you like a peaceful environment. Yes, this is not the place. No. Well, unless you lived on the very edge and never came out of your house, but it's, this is very active, af active place. It's not noisy, no. but it's just very active. And I have met somebody that they, she, he loved it. She hated it. She's, it's, there's too much going on. Um, I don't like it. And so they moved, but. Um, there's just a lot of hustle and bustle. There's carts and people running and biking and, you know, there's just always yeah. outside of the automobiles. There's always something people are going places. They got a lot to do. Yeah. And it, sometimes I think of carts, like if you're in a car and you're seeing all these carts are like little ants going dodging yeah. everywhere, you know, because most, most of the people drive a cart and it's, um, it is, it's, it's hustle bustle. Yeah. But it's better than laying down and yeah, exactly. People do, I think, live longer here because they're constantly on the go. It's a very, very healthy community. Yeah. But if you're not into that, you might, might not. not be the place for you. So also, if you like a bigger lot and a, a lot, a lot more property, let's just say um, you can buy a big home here for sure. Most of them are not on big lots. Mm -hmm. um, you can check out our Harmswood um, video, which is, um, I think it's titled A Hidden Gem. So if you check that out, you can see um, a, a neighborhood that did have acre lots, which was beautiful. They were bigger homes, obviously, and they had be big, beautiful lots. Um, but as a rule of thumb in the villages, the lots are smaller, the homes are closer together. Right. Um, that said, most of us have done some sort of natural landscape to create some sort of privacy barriers mm -hmm. um, to take care of that situation. And I think the reason they did that is because most people, when you retire, you want to be out doing your activities. You want to be, you know, playing with your friends and not pulling weeds, which trust me, this is constantly growing season here. So oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, you, we could pull weeds every single day. And so the more that you have to take care of, the less time you have for fun. And who wants to work when we have fun to be had? Well, and a lot of people hire, you know, somebody to mow their yard. So yeah. um, you just, I, I think it was, this, the concept was for people to be active and be out in the, in, in in the, the nice weather, you mm -hmm. know? And so you don't, you're not gonna sit around in your front yard or your backyard that much. Yeah. Which we, we enjoy our, our backyard, but it's very private and some of it's private too, because if you have people that are not um, full-time residents, um, yeah. they're not even there part of the time. Like we have a guy from Canada that is our neighbor behind us who we adore, but he's only here for a few months a year. So we don't have anybody behind us when he's not here. Right. So, um, so it, it's not, it's not, in my mind, it's not terrible. I think everybody's done a really good job with landscaping yeah. it respecting everybody else's privacy. It's, uh, it's, it doesn't bother me, but it may bother some people. So if you need a big land piece of land, this is probably not yeah. the place. Unless for you. you have a million five or so, and then you can yeah. um, buy in Harmsworth, but there's not yeah. what 50 houses, 51 houses or something there. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's just more to take care of. And the, like you said, the growing season's 12 months and you can plant little bushes and a couple of years <laughs> you've blocked off the neighbor and, yeah. and people are respectful and quiet. Yeah. And, when they're outside so you don't have somebody talking loudly in your backyard 
Yeah, it's all good. Uh, if you're not a if you're a beach person, um, this may not be the best place for you. There's, it's not a terrible drive, but it's pretty much an hour and a half to two hours to either coast. So we're kind of in the middle. Um, and it's and, not a straight shot. No. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I mean, we do it, and I, it's, it's nice to actually go away and get, you know, get a different uh, look for a little bit. But, um, but if you're one of those people that wants to be at the beach yeah. every day or once a week, this may not be the place for you. You may want to look closer to the coasts because. It, it's a decent drive, an hour and a half to two hours, yeah. one way, you know. So. Exactly. And we, yeah. we golfed with that couple that he liked the villages, but she wanted to be on, on water. The beach, yeah. So they made the, they came down and visited and he's like, this is a great place. And she's like, I want to be on the water. And that's a good, good, good thing to do. Come down and check it out and say, no, nope, I want to be on the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, yeah, not the place for you. Good to test it, but yeah. Um, if you have a minor living with you, so um, in the villages, so, and this is, this is a, a rumor thing that needs to be dispelled, but the villages is a retirement community. It's called the 55 and up community. That is true, true. However, if you read the decks and bylaws, it says you only 80% of the residents in the villages need to be 55 and up, which what does that mean? 20% doesn't have to be. And the only thing is, is so that they can call it a retirement community. That's the reason for the guidelines. If it falls below 80%, then they can't call it a 55 and up community anymore. Right. That's the whole reason for that. So if you are 50 years old and you want to live in the villages, you can. Um, the only hard, fast rule is no one under 18 is permitted 18 to live in a home. Yeah. So, or 18 and under. Yes. Yeah. So um, you cannot have a minor in your home, mm -mm. period. Um, so that's something to consider if you are a grandparent that still maybe has a, you know, if you have had to take on a grandchild right. or maybe you were just an older parent um, and you had children later in life. But if you have somebody that is, yeah, 18 and under, they are not permitted in the villages. Oh. Yeah. And, and, and if you, you can get away with it until somebody tattles and, and, and somebody usually will, because the thing is, is that people get upset about the fact, well, why can't my grandkids then come live with me? Or why can't, you know, if my daughter's having a hard time, why can't her and the, the grandbaby come live with me? And the, the problem is, is that again, it goes to the amenities people. It, it, if everybody's grandkids were living with them, we would have more kids in the pool. We would have, and we wouldn't yeah. be enjoying our retired right. amenities. And so that I think was what the design was. And to be honest, there's no school buses or anything because it's a retirement community. Um, you would have to drive the child to school if it's of, of yeah. school and, age. Right. And so. they're not, they're not supposed to, I mean, I think there's a, like they can come and visit, but I think there is like a, I think it's maximum. three weeks is the yeah, max is it, that yeah. they can be there. I think yeah. if I'd have to go back and reread my, right. my rules, but. And I um, think that if you, if you were a younger couple and you're 50 and you did have a special needs child, I think that there may be an exception. Yeah. yeah. I think there is an exception for, um, yeah, know, special know. needs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that part, but yeah, that would be, uh, would be something. So, um, small town feel, um, the villages used to have a small town feel. <laughs> That's kind of what it was designed around. It was a small area. And then there were each little villages, little mm -hmm. communities within the community, which if you <clears throat> like for me in Illinois, we would call it a subdivision. Right. Um, yeah. In your town. So if you live in, you know, this, in, you know, Apple town and there's a subdivision, B subdivision C. And so we, they call them villages here. And it started out obviously very small very because small. it started from nothing. Yep. I think there was, is there like only two or three villages on the historic side? Like I mean, it's, Silver, it's Lake. Silver Lake and and one other, I think, right? And Orange Blossom. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, just two. Maybe two. But yeah, and it was very, very, and you were here when it was real small. Mm -hmm. And we visited a couple times when it was really small. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, if you come from a small town, it's going to be a shock. Yeah, it might be a little intimidating. It's, and it, it's not, I mean, right now we're like, I think 135,000, yeah, I think, I think is the what they I, said. Yeah, I've read in the paper. But they've also built, uh, bought so much property that they said that they can build for the next 20 years. So, I mean, let's just say they do that in half. I mean, 200 and something thousand people. So it's. Uh, <laughs> well, the paper today was um, number one new residents. 
in the country. Yep. The fastest, fastest growing. growing. Um, 34%. And then Utah was right behind at 32. So yeah, it's a, it's a big metropolis now. It's grown, you can grown, still grown. have a tiny little feeling if you don't go out of your village, yeah. Yeah. but, um, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, on the good side though, I do feel like at least right at this point, the villages is kind of built like this. So it wasn't like here and then it just keeps ballooning up like a big flower or circle. Mm -hmm. It's kind of gone from north to south. And so on the good side, it does kind of feel a little bit um, like we still have our area. Like we, we've been talking about for us to get in our golf carts from where we live and drive down to <clears throat> like the Southern Oaks golf course is probably over an hour. I mean, it's yeah. got to be over oh, yeah. an hour. Yeah. And so then you start thinking like, well, would we typically drive that far in a golf cart to go golf? Probably not. And so by attrition, it may um, feel still kind of small and cozy in your own area, but it's definitely a big city. It's a big city. It's yeah. And you're, you are in theory sharing those amenities with 135,000 other humans. Right. And even in the paper, they talk about what's going on on the North side and what's going on on the South side. It used to be north of 466 and then it was north 466, of 466A. 466A and now they're they're talking 44. 44. Pretty soon they'll be, yeah. you know, the turnpike. So the uh, north and south keeps getting longer. Yeah. It yeah. keeps going that way. Yeah. More south. But if you like that little country, small town feel, um, because I know Florida's known like Ocala's horse country. Yes. And so it's very quaint and they've got acres and, you know, very all that beautiful, stuff. And, beautiful drive. Yeah. Yeah. But it, you don't really get that here. This feels more like a, a suburb. Yep. It's not Chicago. Suburb, it's yeah. not Miami or Orlando. But are we at the suburb of Orlando? We might eventually be a suburb of Orlando. <laughs> we might even be in so. Orlando soon. But. And then the last thing that we um, thought, and this isn't really necessarily just a villages thing, but is family. Yes. Um, if you are really close to your friends, family, grandkids, kids, um, Florida's a long ways away. I mean, if you, like kids live in Missouri and Iowa, um, and some people come down here and live for a few years, and then they go, I miss the kids and the grandkids. and. And then they they go back, but the only there's an upside to that. They all love coming down here. Mm -hmm. So spring break, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving. A lot of times we have them down, and it's at that point it's quality and not quantity. But some people like going to all their grandkids' activities, and and then when you're clear down here, that's that's not, not an option. A, not an option. So if that if you're going to miss your kids and grandkids and friends. Um, you might want to rent. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's that you can do it because it, it's funny because two things happen. One is that a lot of people buy their homes and then they sell within two to three years because one of the spouses says, I need to be back and everybody blames yeah. the women. Maybe yeah. it is. I don't know. But they um, want to go back to the family. And it's actually kind of funny. A lot of people will go, which I don't know, now Tennessee's blowing up also as far as um, getting more expensive and all that. But a lot of people from the north, they'll go up to Tennessee. So at least they get the no tax, and then they get a little bit warmer weather, not right. terribly warmer, but they'll get a little bit warmer weather than the snow that you get up north. And they call them halfbacks because they've gone halfway back. Right. They don't go all yeah. the way back. They're halfbacks. So they go to Tennessee. So a lot of people um, from that will move down to the villages will then bump back up maybe to Tennessee and that. So And we can't um, forget the people that from California because we do say up north all the time yes, because yes. we're from up north. Yes. And uh, yeah, there's people that they move come from across. everywhere. They're yeah. come acrossers. Yeah. And down. And then a little bit down. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, so um, those are just some things to consider and some reasons that the villages may not be the place for you. Right. Some things to consider, but definitely, you know, if you can, they have lifestyle visits. You can come down and you can rent a place and then they give you passes to like golf and or a show or whatever. And so you get to kind of try out the lifestyle. And they give you a cart. And a cart, yeah. And then you can see if that's for you or you know or not. Yeah. But I would suggest yeah. that first. Yeah, definitely. So, but anyway, so hopefully you found this helpful. And um, if you have any suggestions for any videos, we're always open. Put them in the comments below. But like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.